Now I've had a couple of people comment that I may be selling out by doing reviews on equipment that gets sent to me free of charge. And am I a salesperson? Now I've been a salesperson pretty much all of my life. I mean, that's why I get sent products out to review that are relevant to my channel. In all honesty, I get requests for some ridiculous stuff from jewelry to handbags to packing boxes to review, which obviously I will turn down because it is not relevant to wild camping or anything else that I do on my channel. However, if someone wants to send me out some equipment that I think is good and that's good on paper, then I will take it and I will try it out. And if it's no good, I'll say it's no good. But if I think it is good, then I'll do a review on it. And in all honesty, the only reason why I do it is so that you guys out there can get to see something that's a little bit different and that you may not have heard of before. Every now and then I get contacted by a company who has an extremely good quality product. And this is one of them. Now I have had one of their torches before, the Wuben T1, and they are now launching today the new Wuben X0, which is an ultralight EDC everyday carry torch. Now I have used this on a couple of camps, uh, so I do know what it is like. I have tested it out and it is fantastic. Now as wild campers, we all like torches. We like very bright torches. We also like very small and very light torches. So this is a new one that is being launched today. It's from Wuben and it's called the X0 Everyday Carry Torch. It is 1100 lumens, it weighs 82 grams and it is just under two inches by one inch wide. It's a fantastic piece of kit. I'll show you what's in the box. Okay, so this is the box. This is the Wuben X0 EDC torch. It's a great little package. Inside here, you have the torch itself. So this thing is tiny, just over two inches by an inch wide. Um, 82 grams, you can put it in your pocket, you'd hardly know it's there. You have your instruction manual, tell you how it works. You have spare O-rings. This is IP68 rated, uh, so you can go underwater for up to two meters for up to an hour, and it's fully waterproof. You then get your charging cable, USB-C. Now the base of this is magnetic, so if you're anywhere where you need to stick it against a wall and have some light projecting down on you, if you're somewhere with metal, then you can attach this to it. This is the switch for turning it on and off and also going through the modes of the light. It is also the cover for the USB-C charge port. Now, it is magnetically held down, um, and even with that magnet system, they've designed this so that that is still waterproof under two meters of water for up to an hour. Very important, this has a shut off on it so you can lock the light because that button there is extremely easy to press when it's inside your bag. And I did forget it once and it was on, so if that goes on full power, it can get very hot if it's inside somewhere confined. So basically to unlock it, you just press this four times in succession and then it goes on to the moonlight mode. You then press and hold it, it goes on to the next one, the next one, and then full brightness. And it scrolls through those options. On full brightness, if you double press it, it goes on to turbo mode, and that is 1100 lumens. If you press it again, it goes into strobe, double press it again, and then it goes into SOS. Switch to go off, and then four times, and it flashes to tell you you've locked it. There's a battery power consumption LED on the top here, so when it is full blue it's on 100%, when it goes to half blue it goes down to 75 then when it goes to red it's on 50%, uh, and then when it drops down to half red it's on 15 20%. It also has a little clip on the top so you can attach this to your strap so you've got it facing forward, or the peak of your cap so it's pointing down so if you're working at night you can have that attached to it. I'll show you a video now of me using it on one of my camps in the pitch black up on a tour on Dartmoor, and I'll put that up now. Okay, so this is it on the uh, moon mode, which is the lowest setting. Press and hold it. That's the next level setting. Press and hold again. Next level setting. And then that's your high. And then if I double click it, that's your turbo mode, 1100 lumens this tiny little torch it just lights up everything around here from this tiny tiny little thing
hundred yards away. And obviously on this camera it doesn't pick it up as good as it does in real life. So you all may be aware of the Olight product. Uh, it's a very, very popular torch. They do a huge variation of them. They're not the cheapest, but they're very, very good quality. The Wubin, I think, is a comparison, a very, very good competitor to those, and it is similarly priced. However, there are some deals on. At the moment, if you use my code, there's a 15% discount, so you can buy this now at 15% off. And they're also doing a Black Friday deal where there's up to 50% off of some of their torches, so do click on the link below and have a look through. So this gives you another option to the Olight. Um, I've got Olight. They are good. I like the charge port on this. The downside to the Olight being magnetic is if you break that lead, you've got to buy another Olight lead with a magnetic charger on it. It's great having it all funky where you can just disconnect it and connect it magnetically. But if that snaps, something goes wrong with it, then you're stuck. You can't charge it. This is just a USB-C cable. So you, <laughs> we've all got thousands of those cables lying around everywhere. I have two when I go camping, so I can always plug this in and I can always charge it. The build quality of this is, is really good. It's, it's really, really solid. There's a couple of little things on here that, uh, well, there's one thing in particular that I really like. There are little tiny gaps in the torch, and it is designed for putting in a tritium tube vial. Now, if you don't know what that is, tritium is a, is a gas, it's a liquid, well, it's not a gas, it's a liquid fluid that is basically a light, and it will last for thousands of years. You get watches with tritium dials on the faces. So you can buy one, um, and you can stick it in there, so you can have a bright blue, yellow, green, whatever colour you want, try to vial within this little tiny space here. It's designed to fit exactly in there so that when you wake up in your tent in the middle of the night and you need to find your torch, and obviously the light's not on because you can't find your torch, this thing will glow blue or whatever colour you choose. So I'm going to get one of those tritium vials and I'm going to get it stuck inside there because I think that's a great idea. So I have tested this on two camps now and it's lasted really, really well. It's incredibly bright, it throws a massive huge beam, it's 1100 lumens, it's more than enough that you need. My 2000 lumen torch, it's a bit overkill. I mean, do you need 2000 lumens? Do you need to see 300 meters? This will do 125 meter beam as it is in this tiny little format. 82 grams, fit in my pocket. I don't even notice it's there. Um, so I have used it, I will continue to use it and I do recommend this product. It is a fantastic piece of kit. So if you do want to buy it, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, it is an affiliate link, so I might get a bit of commission from it, but it's not going to cost you any more. You can also use my discount code, so you'll get a discount, but also check out their Black Friday sale, so you can get up to 50% off of their new torches. They've also got another product coming out soon, and it looks fantastic. They are sending it out to me. It's going to be launched on Kickstarter shortly, um, and I'm really looking forward to doing a review on that, because that is a fantastic piece of kit, completely different from anything I've seen out there. So sorry for selling out and being a salesman again, but if I don't do these reviews, then you may not be aware of other products that are out there that you may want to purchase and it could be a benefit to you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.